A popular Northeast D.C. nightclub is being told to improve its security before it can reopen. This comes after a 19-year-old was stabbed inside the fur factory last week. The attack happened even though 17 security guards and 10 police officers were standing guard. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford is in Northwest Washington with where things go from here. Sam? Maureen, the club clearly has issues, but the owners of the fur factory work to convince the board to allow them to survive. So I feel like they want to depend on somebody, and, but that week we were not open. In a hearing before the ABC board, the owners of the Fur Factory nightclub expressed frustration. They get blamed for any crime in the vicinity of their club. They presented a plan for heightened security after the May 6 stabbing in the club that's kept them shut down by the city ever since. They will restore a wanding policy they let lapse, turn over all weapons like these they confiscate to police, and get more sophisticated machines to check IDs. The 19-year-old stab was too young to be in the club. Board members asked about a shooting incident in March in which 13 people were shot, some believed to be patrons of the club. I think one occurred the same night, the same night that, it, uh, that we were open, um, but they're not even sure if it had any connection with us or not. The club did say it would no longer have shows from the TCB band seen here or any of its members in the future. Both the stabbing and shooting incident occurred on nights the band performed, though the band's manager complains about the stigma. Well, I mean, it's a situation that's happened repeatedly. You know, every time we come in, I mean, we're a band that all working class band members, you see what I'm saying? We come in, we come in to do a job to perform for the fans. You know what I'm saying? We don't search the people, we, we pay for, we provide security, proper security, proper police, but every time something ends up happening, the first thing the city does and the police do, what they do is try to turn back around and say, well, this band is too much of a problem. You know what I'm saying? And so we don't feel like they should be able to play anymore. The ABC board members listened to the plan, called for modest changes, and the chairman said this. The board is of the view that there must be an approved security plan, uh, revised security plan in place prior to the reopening. And the fur factory is working closely with the city and can submit its plan at the next meeting, which is on Friday. Technically, the club could reopen over the weekend. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.